Hey guys, uh, this is the first in a series of little blog things that I'll be doing every week. Uh, basically showing off Clear UI and what I have done with it and what you'll be able to expect when you actually download and use the mod. Um, first off I think I'll just show how it's actually uh, how the client actually looks so far and what I've actually done. I mean this is a hell of a slow process. Um, I have to change everything because the coding of the client is just interesting to say the least. Um, but yeah, it takes time. Each button's got to be changed by itself. Each button has to have its own images assigned. Yeah, hopefully it'll be more reliable, better looking, better updated, um, and generally nicer to use than uh, old clear UI. Uh, smooth UI even. So yeah, first off we've got the login screen, which you've probably all seen before. I've just shoved a random background on it. Um, got your remember me button, the OK, cancel, whatever. Um, on here I will be showing off patch notes and things like that underneath the login box once it's been implemented, but hey. Um, server browser. Now this, although it is like this, if you are downloading the international version, which is uh, to work on any client, it will just be a list of servers because these are all images and I don't want to get into sorting out servers for each different client and whatnot, but hey. Um, but yeah, this is the channel browser. Once again, if you're downloading the international version, it will be a list of channels because there are more channels on different versions. Um, you've got your friend tabs, clan tabs, block tabs, etc. All fixed like that. Uh, that's all been changed on the item side. Uh, you've got your personal information up there, black market storage items, etc. Okay, let's go into a channel. Okay, now this has all been moved around to make things slightly easier to see. I mean, you've got all your weapon icons on the left hand side of it, of the rooms. Um, each button is now completely separate from each other. Um, the clan, all that stuff's down there, like just before. It's all the same as the other. Like each left hand side bit is, u well, not unique, it's concurrent throughout the whole UI. So you'll have your lobby, friend, clan, and block list all in the same location on each page. Same with the chat, same with the black market storage and item shop stuff. And the main difference being between any UI that I've done before or anything like that is that this whole image is one image. It's just one background image that's been done and then all the buttons, all the other like little hovering things are, have been added on top of the image. So it allows for quick and simple changing of stuff. So say I needed to change a whole bunch of buttons, I'd just change it on one thing. I wouldn't have to change any script files whatsoever. Um, Okay, let's go into a room. Okay, so you've got your blacklist, global risk. Um, your little personal icon has a little uh, gradient on the side of it. Um, I need to change the playing host and ready icons, but I'll do that later to a later date. Um, your bag info is down here. So, I mean, you've got your bags down the side. My info is there. Friends are on the side again. And there's your clan. Uh, I need to fix the chat in here, but hey, um, got your bag layout again there. Um, yeah, let's have a look at the black market. Right then, this is probably the biggest change to any kind of uh, thing that I've done before. So, I mean, you've got your whole weapons and whatnot, what's in the crate up at the top on the on a uh, horizontal scroll now rather than a ver vertical one. Uh, you've got your crates all down the left hand side and then you've got your purchasing and whatnot there along with the recent winners along the bottom. GP crates is the same. I mean it's just GP rather than ZP crates or whatever it is for your client. I will be changing that to cash crates on the international version. Um, I haven't done the my crates and coupons section yet as it you can clearly see. Um, I have done the spinner, but it's kind of buggy at the moment and it does need fixing, but I'll sort that out later. Storage and item shops haven't been done yet. Um, I did do I did do the new room 
uh, pop-up thing, but I, I would show you it, but due to the recent patch, it's physically broken it, and every time you launch it, it causes you to client error, so I'll show that next week or something. Anyway, let's show the program, because this is the interesting bit that you'll be, you'll probably have the most fun with, because it's the, uh, you, the customizable options and whatnot. Okay, so when you get the program, you'll have your version up at the top, latest version, and then there's a button to download the update, so if there's a whole new client out, then you can download it through there. If there's a small patch, which it generally will be small patches, uh, you'll be able to download it there, it'll download it for you, and then install it by itself. You won't need to change anything as long as you've got the uh, your Crossfire locale set. Okay, and let's go into making a background. Now, first off, you won't see anything because you obviously need to go in and find an image you want to use. So I'll just uh, grab something from my pictures. Uh, let's go for that. Okay, and then it will show the preview image of, say, just a lobby for this because it's one with the most information on it. Uh, it'll just bung preview on it for now. Uh, but yeah, it will resize it to the size of the client. You'll have a little help icon down here if you get stuck, which will obviously it's not up yet, but it'll have a small wiki of documents that it'll guide you through making it and any problems that you have. Um, if you do want to report a bug, it'll send you to a thread on ModHub that you'll be able to report stuff on. Um, but yeah, once you're done with your background and whatnot, you just hit save background. It'll automatically save it for you and bung it into your uh, Crossfire directory in the correct location. Uh, you'll obviously have to set it up depending on your client and it will reject any sort of phony or fake Crossfire directory so be sure to do that. You'll hit OK, it will close, you can now close the program and reload CF. OK and as you can see it's changed the image on the background to what you specified there earlier well what I specified but when you do it you will obviously be able to choose whatever you want and it will update it throughout the client so I mean everything will be changed everything will be having your background that you chose and it is completely uh, customizable you it is more user friendly more user interactive and it's just great but yeah that's about it for this week um, if you want to follow more updates, I'll be posting them on the Facebook page for ModHub, uh, the clearui.modhub.org page, uh, and the ModHub site. All links will be down in the description, and I'll see you next week.